Hello and welcome once again to our Bad Dog CNC tutorials. As usual, I'm Tony and I'll be guiding you through this tutorial. Many of you sent us requests on our helpline concerning PCB circuits and how to cut them. So today we're going to discuss how to mill PCB circuits using the Bad Dog X2. Now there are many different ways to go about this and there are literally hundreds of software and tools that exist on the market. But my goal today is to introduce a cheap, easy solution for you to get started milling PCBs with confidence. Now, in order to mill our prototypes, we need some design tools for PCBs and a machine that can cut paths with a reasonable amount of precision. So I hope that you enjoy this tutorial, and if you have any questions, you can email me directly through the Bad Dog CNC website. Now, to simplify the task, we've broken this complex subject down into some simple steps. They're shown here. Each of these steps can easily be applied, not only to this simple example, but to larger, more complex PCB cutting projects. I will explain each step in detail as we go. Firstly, in order to use a PCB milling module with Eagle, we need to download the ULP plugin from the PCB G code website www.cadsoft.de and place the entire folder into the ULP folder of the Eagle software folder. Here, I already downloaded it. I'm going to just drop it into the ULP folder in Eagle, where I installed the program. Now I can launch the Eagle software. Now, the example here is not the best example. It's not really a circuit. It's, it's not even well done, but it shows you exactly how to do milling of a PCB from start to end, and I wanted something simple. So later on, here I'll show you the circuit. Later on, you can apply this to bigger, more complicated circuits. Now, in order to get the cutting parameters, you just need to type run PCB G code setup. And this brings up the cutting window. There are three main boxes that we will discuss. They are the bottom, the top, and the cutting parameters. Here you just have to choose whether or not you want to write the G-code for drilling and circuit engraving on either the top or bottom side, or both. We have only one side, so we will only need the bottom side with the drilling code to match. The box on the right, we have the settings for the offset for our tool. I usually change the units at this time to millimeters so I can see the dimensions a little better. In the last box, you'll see the first value is the distance to the outline of the circuits for the first pass of the cutting tool essentially the offset. The second value is the maximum offset distance, isolation value. The third is just step size to reach the maximum value. You can play with these parameters if you want, but for this tutorial, we will just do the circuit in one pass with a tool of 0.8 millimeters. I won't get into the other parameters in this tutorial, but just make sure that you've chosen the Mach 3 profile within the options. After your settings have been chosen, we're just going to use the values by default here. We press enter and it writes our G-code. We can find it in the same folder as we have our project in Eagle. The single most important step is fixing the PCB card to the table. Some people prefer to hold the card with two-sided sticky tape, others like vacuum. But since the bad dog machine that I'm using has been drilled to secure aluminum and steel plates, I'll be using mechanical connection with bolts and levers. The PCB card must be placed on a flat surface because we will be only milling a thin layer of copper and if the table is not of high tolerance or precision, then you'll have pieces of the circuit that are exposed and missing when you try to mill them. As I said before, we'll be using a Bad Dog X2 to mill this PCB, so we can use the tabletop without adjusting it. Now remember, if your CNC that you're using has problems with table regularity, then you can use shims or secure a piece of hardwood and then mill it flat with the machine itself. Once we secure it to the table, we can go on to the last step, which is cutting and drilling our circuit. Now we're going to go ahead and open up Mach 3 here and take a look at our files. Now, these files have been treated by the Eagle software. Now, if we just click one and open it up, we can see it's a rather long list, eh? but don't worry, it's a computer that does the work. So right down to the end. Now, we can go into our Mach 3 and import the file. Now, I've already imported it, so I'll just show you how to do that. Select our file. Click and OK. 
Now, that's about all you need to know to get started with your own PCB circuits. The rest of the video is just showing the machine at work. I've included the video here so you can see how the machine cuts. This is done in real time. But keep in mind, I'm using a large diameter tool that's rather long, so I can cut faster than normal. Looks better for the videos. I think the diameter was 0.8 millimeters. If you had a tool of 0.3, then you wouldn't choose this speed. It would be quite a bit slower and wouldn't be able to drill as fast either. Now, we've used this technique of prototyping for most of our bad dog circuits. And because we don't like outsourcing, we found it quite nice to prototype here without the use of chemicals and liquids normally associated with the process of PCB making. So that's about it. We thank you for watching our tutorial and we hope this video helps you out a little. If you like this video, be sure to check all of our other videos in this section. So from all of us here at Bad Dog, we wish you a good day and thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.